In this lesson, we're gonna show how to set up a custom thumbnail. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, when you go into your library, the engine will automatically take auto captures of the project that you're doing and set that as the thumbnail. Now, however, it can be useful to notate for different versionings of projects, as well as if you're doing something like a VR version and a non-VR version of a project. So having your own thumbnails can be really useful. So let's jump into Unreal and show how to do that. Okay, so we're in Unreal and let's say that we've got this framed up the way we want it for a project thumbnail. We might want to hit F11. So we'll click on the screen, hit F11, go into full screen mode. We could take a screenshot if we wanted and hit F9, or we could use some sort of screen capturing software where we're able to select part of the screen at the resolution that we wanted. Now the resolution that we're gonna go for is a 192 by 192 square image. So I've already taken a screenshot. Let's go back, so I hit F11. And if we look under project settings, in the project description area, this is what we're going to be setting. And how do we do that? Well, let's go into Photoshop quickly. So here we're in Photoshop. We've got the screenshot that I took and I'm hitting Control Alt I to pull up the image size. We can dial that into a 192 by 192 at 72. And there we are, we've got that. And we could do whatever post-processing we wanted on that. And now, if we go into the Unreal file browser and, so here's our project and here's the root of the project, if we go into the saved area, you can see this auto screenshot. I open this up inside of Photoshop, and if we hit Control Alt I and look at the image size, you can see it's 192, 192. Let's take the image that we've got from here and copy it and paste it. So Control C, Control V, we've pasted it. I'm going to merge that down, so control E, and we've got, let's take a look at our layers. I also created a really quick text layer, something like saying version 1.0. There we go, we could put shading on that if we wanted. Let's say that we're good with this. So I'm gonna flatten this image, and it's good to save it as the name of the project, so it's my first project is what we're calling it. So let's hit save. And that goes in the root directory. And once we've done that, let's, and I jumped back into the project settings and you can see it's already updated here. But if it didn't, you could go in and then pick this, which should be right where we put it in the root folder with the same name as the project. And so now in the launcher, we'll see this version 1.0 and the thumbnail we've made. So you could do anything that you want to make this look a little bit more unique. Now, one thing I just wanna point out is one time I tried creating a PNG file in Photoshop at 192 by 192 resolution, and it didn't update correctly. What I recommend is use the PNG that's generated in Unreal, do your work on top of that, flatten it, and then bring it back into your file structure in Unreal. That'll wrap things up. Hopefully this will be a small but useful technique for adding additional customization to your workflows. That'll wrap things up. We'll see you in the next one.